Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. I have one more festive holiday release for you today. So if you've been following along with our 2023 Sew With Me series, you know I always have a finishing pattern and a couple of fun bonus patterns to go with it. I'm gonna be releasing the full quilt finishing pattern in January, so I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But today I wanted to talk about one of the bonus patterns because it's just super festive and fun. So before we get into that, let's do talk about the quilt pattern really quick. Like I said, I'm gonna release that in January because I've had so many videos going up this December and I wanted to be able to give it its own spotlight. And one cool thing about last year's and this year's was that they are all the same size as far as blocks go, so you can feel free to mix and match those blocks. You can use last year's quilt final layout, or you can stick around for January to see what this year's is going to look like. It's a lot of fun, so you definitely have a little bit of a sneak peek back here, <laughs> um, but that will be coming in the new year. Now, if you can't wait until January and you wanna just get it all put together right now, the entire pattern is available in my store. The full pattern covers all 12 Sew With Me blocks in both the six and 12 inch sizes. It also has three and I'll say a half-ish bonus patterns. It has a pillow pattern, which is the layout from last year's pillow pattern, because like I said, they're all the same size, so you can reuse those layouts. It has the table runner in it from last year as well. Again, same size blocks, same layout. And then this year I'm adding a new pattern and it's kind of like a one and a half patterns because you can take one thing and then turn it into another thing if you want. So it's kind of the same pattern, but just an alteration of that same pattern. That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. Let me show you what I mean. So most of you know that I've been doing my six and a half inch blocks in Christmas fabric, and I used this line right here, plus some of my scraps, so it's not all from this, but this is the Christmas stitched line from Fig Tree. It's just so beautiful and fun, and I love the reds and greens in here. They're not super dark, they're a little more bright and cheery, and then it's kind of got creamy, low volumes. So this bundle is absolutely adorable and that's what I did most of my blocks in for this year's sew along. And then I wanted to put it together in something fun, but I didn't wanna just do a plain white background. So I went ahead and chose, this isn't exactly it, but I did wanna show you what it is. It is also a fig tree print. This is just the red and white version. I chose the multicolored version, which you'll see here in just a minute. This is from their Christmas stitched line as well. I used the multi in my projects. So you're gonna see that here now, but I did want to share with you what the background was that I used for the assembly. So here it is, and this is version one of our options. So this is a little table topper, and as you can see, I used all 12 of my six and a half inch blocks, plus I did a special little block there in the middle just to give it kind of a centerpiece for them to all go around, and then I cut off my, my corners at a diagonal to give it this fun octagon shape. So this is really, really cute. I'll show you my background print up close. There is that text on cream, but like I said, I used a multicolored one, so it's got some reds and greens in there. So it made it really fun. It's a little bit um, busy in person, but I actually think it turned out really good. It looks really scrappy. And then I do think my blocks still actually stand out pretty well on this. They would obviously stand out a little bit better if you had put them on a solid, but I love the look of that little text print in there. I think it just makes it super festive. The binding on here, I used a red from that Christmas stitched line. And then on the backing, I actually used a sweet water print. This is from my cup of cheer quilt and it was leftovers actually. I pieced it together so it would fit our little table topper. I also added one of my personalized labels. This is from Ever Emblem and I will link her shop below. You can also just search Ever Emblem online and probably find them. She has a variety of different personalized labels and these are just the really, they're just the, um, in binding ones. So you just add it in your binding as you go. Perfect for smaller projects. And I will insert some videos so that you can see my little table topper in action here. It's the perfect size for a dining room table, a kitchen table, a kitchen island, or I actually put it on our living room table, put a little candle on there. I put a couple of festive, colorful books on there that matched. If you're curious what they are, this one is called A Christmas Carol and Other Christmas Tales. It's got gold edging on the pages and then it's just got this kind of vintage 
lovely vibe inside and it has lovely Christmas stories that you can read. So perfect for your coffee table. I will link that one below. And then I also added this one because it was a perfect green to match my fig tree fabric. Actually, this one is Sense and Sensibility. I got it at Barnes and Noble and they have a whole selection of um, these kind of vintage looking classics. So a lot of fun. The only thing my daughter mentioned was that the edges of these are orange and she said it clashed with my fabric, but I think the red and green together kind of override the orange edges of my papers. Let me know what you think in the comments. I also put a round wooden cutting board on there with a gingerbread house that I got on Instagram. I will link that below. They may be sold out now because when I bought it, it was one of the last ones they had left available, but it's just so cute and I love that it lights up. I have a couple candles on there, a Christmas tree from World Market, and then I also have that little candle spinner on there and that I got this year from the Chris Kindle Market in Denver. Every year we go to those markets and I love picking up something, you know, festive like that. So I thought it was perfect and it just made the living room look so nice and cozy. The other reason I put it in my living room is because that is the least likely spot that it will be to get food or drinks spilled on it. If it were on my kitchen table, it'd be a goner. If it were on my kitchen island, same. I maybe could put it on the dining room table until we have to clear that off for Christmas dinner, but I thought having it in the living room, everybody sees it more and it just looks looked so cute and festive. So here is the table runner version. Now, when I said it was one and a half patterns, the instructions in the pattern actually show you also how to make this into a tree skirt. So it's not hard. You take this exact same design and instead of binding it all the way around, you actually cut from one of the corners into the center, cut out a circle. There is a template and everything and instructions all in the pattern, so don't worry about it. And then when you bind it, you bind it all the way around, up around the circle and back down and you have yourself a really cute tree skirt. And I think that would be absolutely adorable as well. I decided to go with a table topper this year because I really felt like I needed that. I have quite a few tree skirts, so I didn't really wanna make another one, but that would be a really, really cute alternative to the table topper. And I think it would look adorable either way. So that is what I wanted to share with you today. Our festive little table topper slash tree skirt. And then, like I said, if you can't wait for it, go ahead and head over to my store. You can get the full pattern with all of the bonus patterns as well, available now at store.confessionsofahomeschooler.com. Or if you're patient, you can wait until the new year and I will be releasing the finishing instructions for the full quilt version. So that's gonna be it for today's little video. I hope you are all having a wonderful holiday season. This is gonna be my last holiday video before the new year. We're gonna take a little break. And then January 1st, we're gonna be releasing our pillow of the month. Last year we did house, houses of the month. The year before that we did trucks of the month. This year we're gonna be doing a pillow of the month and they're gonna be dropping on the first of every month. So stay tuned for that video coming in the new year. That's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for joining. As always, if you like this, please subscribe and like this video. That really helps me out. And also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our upcoming fun. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and I will see you in the new year. And I'm calling it a one and a half pattern, but I'm, and I'm kind of, and I think it's kind of like having an, a one and a, uh, is it from that line? Yep. This one is a Christmas Carol, and actually this has another Christmas tale. This one is called a Christmas Carol and other Christmas tales. You can take um, one out of the top of those two red bags there. It's Haley and Liv's coats and they already know what they are. <laughs> hey, you gotta do what you gotta do when it's, you know, <laughs> they're running out of tissue paper. So I'm letting them take one off of the top of a bag. Okay. Get off the table. Brody, get down.